what you see on in the auditorium is the glamour side of it. You never see, uh, um, uh, yeah, dancers come to life on stage. And uh, but to get to where they've got is not a bed of roses for some of the dancers, especially for the women. A girl got fired because she had too big a breasts. It was excellent to be treated to just an abundance of his work over a lifetime of some very iconic images um, and just treated to his life full of adventure and curiosity, traveling the world, all things that helped make his career and his artistic vision so sharp, so focused and so prolonging. Um, so it was wonderful to see the life that influenced the work and the work that influenced the life in tandem. It was just a very contemplative and meditative and intimate um, look into his, to him and his life work. I thought it was really homey and sweet and just like a perfect little snippet of a story. I loved the use of music and coloring to help narrate the change in his point of view with what he was taking photos of. Um, when he heard about the burning of the ghetto, the music shifted from that beautiful ballet music and we went into the red room of photography and took advantage of that transitional period and the actual use of the red color to kind of make that narration point pop, um, which I loved. And then the final button, um, censorship being the end, and then that was the end. Oh, it left you wanting more, but I suppose Colin wanted more photography too, so it was a very good button. There's obviously the, um, the construction of telling a story using other um, photographs and other images that might not necessarily belong to the story, but making it all turn into one. And I think it really overlapped with um, Colin Jones's philosophy about being a photographer and what it really meant to be a photographer. And a lot of the um, themes of the piece revolved around sort of documenting human existence in all of its forms and especially uh, human suffering, which tends to be brushed aside and trying to be hidden. And I felt like um, Colin Jones's um, mentality about how he should approach his work and what it would really what it really meant and how um, a large scale forces in this instance the American government or in other governments similar were um, instrumental in sort of creating a campaign of censorship and creating a campaign of hiding certain things from society and had, this is overall contributed to a general um, lack of empathy, I think, between um, people who are not like each other. And photography used to be a way to document other people that weren't like you and allowed you to um, get a sense of humanity. And I think this documentary was really strong about crafting and understanding how this man in particular was able to take that approach to uh, create work that impacted people um, for quite some time. So this was, this was good for me. Uh, there's a very strong sense of mood and atmosphere uh, that captures the feelings of the man's uh, recollections, the, the subject of the film. Uh, his recollections as he's recounting his life through his work, I thought that that was uh, very well portrayed, uh, not just through him speaking, but through showing the photographs that he had taken in the past, uh, and just the way the film is shot, the way it's edited together, uh, it feels like you're reliving this memory. It, it heightens his storytelling uh, in a way that really only only a film like this can. It begins with this really cool photo montage of all these pictures throughout history and then transitions into these photographs of these beautiful ballerinas in the midst of dance, all this mu whimsical music plays. And so you start to think of photographs as artwork, as art pieces, much like a lot of people today sort of think of photographs as harmless artwork. But then as the documentary goes on, and Colin starts to talk about his time in the Philippines where he wasn't supposed to be places taking pictures of things like the ghetto burning. Um, and you realize that photographs can be very political. They bring attention to things that the public was not supposed to see. And then in the end, Colin saying that the end of real photography began with censorship when the U.S. became aware that 
photographs being taken in Vietnam were not giving them the right image. And censorship began thus ending real photography. It really makes you think of what you're missing in the real world. It was about different stages of this guy's career in photography. And each story I told had like, it could have been its own movie on its own. The fluidity of the editing was very well done. Each, uh, each scene was very meticulous in terms of like painting a picture of uh, literally a picture of the things that he's done. You, you look at the pictures in the studio, everything that he's done, the photochemicals, the restoring, all the tools. And as he's telling the story through the narration, those pictures really add on to like the immersiveness of the story and uh, how to get the audience um, to be involved in that. So that was really well done. I also liked how he was very, towards the end, he was, the camera was focused on him as he's telling his stories. And it was just very, uh, very personable how he, how he's coming across and telling his story. What a fascinating, fascinating individual Colin is, you know, I, um, you know, I loved learning about, you know, him as an artist all around, you know, as a dancer and then as a photographer. And it's just, um, you know, it makes sense that a, a true artist with a true artist passion would want to go and uh, photograph and expose all, 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 all these things that he's showing to the world here, you know, and it, it's interesting how, you know, the premise is that real photography ended in the Vietnam era because that's when censorship began, you know, it's very interesting, very interesting. The images were just striking. I mean, he's a wonderful photographer, you know, I'd like to see him dance too, you know, I bet he's, I bet he's a good as dancer, you know. Um, you know, what a guy. Um, but yeah, no, I'd be interested to see, uh, to see a, a book of his photos, you know, it, you know, I'd love to see just like sheets of his negatives and just, you know, see what, see what life he's captured here. You know, his, his, his tales of, of, of the Philippines, my goodness, of meeting the Marcos and then going to, uh, the slums that they were burning. Oh my gosh. You know? Yeah. So um, very unique uh, individual, Colin, and uh, wonderful stories to tell. Um, I just enjoyed seeing all the, the different pictures from the different eras, uh, learning a little bit about this fellow M, because I thought it was really remarkable story told well here. Um, and again, we're just treated to some wonderful photography. So all in all, I really enjoyed it. Great job. Mm -hmm.